Hey guys, today we're going to be working on uh, the rear doors of a 2006 F-150. If this handle quits working, I'll show you how to fix it. The first thing you're going to want to do is get the panels off this door. Um, it's not super difficult. First thing, you got to pull the seat forward, pop this panel on. Top panel comes off, your 6 millimeter nut driver. You gotta pop this off with a screwdriver and there's two screws in there that you're gonna use that six millimeter nut driver for. Little, little flathead screwdriver. Pop that panel out, six mil nut driver. Handle comes right off. You gotta get that rear door open. There's a cable runs down this way see it right here so I want to get my my pliers on that cable and pull up there it is we got to pop this panel off on this side there's two six mil nut uh, nuts there pop this off there's a 10 mil inside there I'll show you that there's one down at the bottom down here I should have started over there. This pops off. Just like that. It's a six mil screw with a nut head. Down there, you see that? Okay. This piece pops off. There's a connector in here. Pinch it. Pull up. Nut there. This one is missing. They upgraded the sound system. And so lift up, pull pull out comes right off. Here are the replacement pieces that I ordered. One of them out of the four looks like this on the top. This one goes on the top latch here. There's a notch that it'll fit into up underneath. I'm gonna take a round file and kind of smooth that out a little bit so it doesn't bind. I had trouble with that other door over there but I finally got it. I hooked up a round file to my drill, cleaned out the inside. All right, so I did a little diagram here. So if you're looking at the end of the piece, drill that out, drill the center out. So you would want to like drill this way. I used a, a round file and drilled it out. So what happens is your, your shielding slides in here and the cable slides through, but the pieces, it sticks up here. So it was creating drag on the cable. It wasn't straight. Now here's what we got to replace. This one is okay. This one failed, failed. And it goes up in here. And then there's another one that goes down this cable inside of this shielding to that latch. This is the piece we need to do. There's a cable in there, which you're gonna slide this piece around that cable and then down onto the shielding of that. I don't wanna slide it in. You'll see the slot on the inside and give it a little bit of a twist, okay? And I sprayed this Rogo with WD-40. And now it doesn't bind at all. There we go. See how I see how it wants to bounce back now? That's perfect. Slips in, the ball slips in that little hook there. The new piece fits in, you'll see it, it's really easy. It's just like that, but on the back side. Okay, next you want to pull this. There's like an adhesive rubber sticky stuff. Doesn't seem to want to stick to my hands, but it will definitely stick back together when you, when you put it back.
There's the old one. That one's not too bad, but and to show you it just comes apart. Just light it up like that. Got some lithium grease on it. And it wants to go right in there. I've got it where it's good now. It'll close and open perfectly. But I really had to do a lot of modification on those parts. So the pieces that I showed you earlier, right here, inside there, the way it sits, it creates tension. So this doesn't want to spring back. It like, it like drags here, it drags here. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna put this door back together and uh, call it a day. When you're putting this handle back on, make sure that that handle is at that angle. Not there, not there, when you tighten the screws down or it won't work. Another job in the books and it's time for a cold one.